I don't know why I paused there. Because <laughs> maybe 13 doesn't come before 14. Who knows? <laughs> In Spanish, we have a whole different thing. Do you? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Obviously, next week it is Valentine's Day. Dun dun dun! Claude and I did a little Valentine's thing yesterday with our Lesbian Disney Princess Chapstick Challenge, which you should obviously definitely watch. But Clara and I are big Parks and Recreation fans, so we've decided that we're also going to be celebrating Valentine's Day! Woo! Best day of the year. Basically, it means you celebrate your friends, well, your female friends. And it's the day before Valentine's, oh. February 13th, is when Leslie Love celebrates Valentine's with all her female friends. And what does Leslie love more than Ben, or almost as much as Ben, is waffles. So we're going to make waffles! <laughs> but not only that, because I can't eat regular waffles, we're going to do a can it waffle challenge and see, do these things waffle? Our first recipe is going to involve this beautiful thing. <laughs> Bloody heavy. I mean, it looks like an oud. I don't think Leslie would be very pleased with that. Ooh, yeah. Anyone who watches Doctor Who is enjoying themselves right now. The celeriac recipe just involves salt and pepper, whoop, an egg that almost rolled away, and some onion granules and garlic granules. Now, all the recipes that we're doing today you can find on my blog, Yay. Uh, except for recipe number two which not only can you find on my blog, you can also find in the video that's in the card that is now above. Oh, there you go. Well, I think this is the one that's most likely to waffle, to be honest. It's, uh, this is my pumpkin cupcake batter that I'm thinking should make a good waffle. It does look like it should. And it looks like a batter. On to recipe number three. The recipe for this one can also be found on my blog. And this involves some mashed sweet potato. Whoa with some cheddar and some eggs and if I think it's too runny some coconut flour. Oh I've never made this one before. We're gonna see, that's why it's number three. Okay, first thing we need to do is grate this beast. How? You look so enthused by this. Come on, it might not be the worst thing you've ever tasted. Or it may be. <laughs> it's neither here nor there, really. Ooh, fancy. That doesn't look too bad. No, I guess. Come on, give me that, come on. Uh, it looks good. Thank you. You ready to try? I am ready. You know what? I actually, I'm one of those people who puts sweet and savoury together. I'm not a big so fan. I would actually sweeten these, personally. Yeah, the waffle maker I have is the Scandinavian version. So if you're watching this from the US, these are not the thick brand that, you know, you see on TV. Mm-hmm. It's fine, but... A good cheese. Oh yeah, maybe grate some parmesan on top. That would be delightful actually, we better. Okay, next up. Sorry, I'm still chewing. <laughs> Come on, you like my pumpkin. I like the pumpkin You like one. the pumpkin cupcakes. You're gonna like them as waffles. Yeah. If they waffle. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm excited. You ready? Yeah. You ready? You ready? Oh, little stuck. Oh no! Oh, they are the attached. Oh ah. no, you told me this was non-stick. <gasps> no, I feel lied to. Oh boy. What is this, Clara? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, they are, they do actually detach from each other. But it's good. Oh good, oh my god. Mm. Mm. See, whipped cream would be really great in these. Yeah, no, I'm totally with you there. God, whipped cream would be nice. Also, maple syrup. Ooh, yeah. This is what Valentine's Day is all about. <laughs> mm. Screw friends. Bring waffle. Yeah. Well, 
Oh, hello. We did not in any way forget to charge the camera and thus have to turn to the other camera to film the rest of this. No. That didn't happen. <laughs> so, number three in the does it waffle. Ooh, I don't know, to be honest, whether this is going to work. It looks exciting. What do you think, waffle aficionado? I am worried about the cheese. Okay. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna stick on the non-stick. Because pan. my idea is, right, you can make hash browns using leftover potatoes. So can't we make waffles the same way? So we have a sweet potato, mushed up, obviously no skin, and then two eggs, some cheddar cheese, some baking powder, and some salt. For quantities, look at the blog, it's all in the description. I would be very excited about sweet potato if I haven't had any potato in 10 years. It's been 10 years, guys. I think I would be more upset if I had to stop eating cheese than carbs. I was never really a cheese lover. Claudia got this cheese from my mum for Christmas and it, I, like, I thought I was going to vomit every time I went near it. Okay, coming up. Will it waffle? It's my waffle preparation. Oh. Let's dig in. Mm. That is really nice. Yeah, get some chives in there, pop some sour cream on top. So there you go, lovelies. There are three Will It Waffle waffles for you to enjoy. Give us a big thumbs up if you have liked this video and our beautiful waffles. And you can find all of the recipes in the description. Comment below with what kind of waffles you think we should do next time or any other food challenges that I should give Clara. They always a challenge for me. But I learn a lot every time. <laughs> For your chance to win a bunch of amazing Valentine's gifts, click the link in the description.